Breaking News 2023 list of governors who have publicly declared support for Tinubu's presidency. Why some have said no way, others have said why not. You know, uh, the likes of um, the very governor of Lagos State, I mean, a political son who owes Tinubu greatly to ensure Tinubu becomes governor uh, or president of Nigeria, started the campaign for even before Tinubu declared. Okay, for Tinubu's, uh, you know, uh, presidential uh, race. The whole thing started while Shua Jamepola Tinubu was still in London and the um, posters of his presidential aspiration were seen. And when he came, the governor of Lagos State, Bajide Sanwulu, was the first person, you know, to start the whole um, presidential campaign. As if that was not enough, other governors has also stood behind Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu. We've also heard the governor of Hondo State at, one, at some point saying, we are waiting for Akapon to come back. You know, so uh, there are people who are for Tinubu, why there are those who are against Tinubu. However the case may be, here it is. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. 2023 list of governors who have publicly declared support for Tinubu's presidency. Tinubu's long awaited declaration took the course on the 2023 presidential election to a new height and dimension when he went to announce his presidential interest to President Muhammad Buhari. Since the announcement, many support groups have sprung up converging for the presidential aspiration of the former governor of Lagos State. Many influential politicians and traditional rulers have also queued behind the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, assuring him of their support. Recently, Abdu Ming Jubrim, the Director General of Tinubu Support Management Council, said 14 governors are currently backing Tinubu's presidential bid. However, he did not name them. He did not mention the names of the governors or name who they are. Nevertheless, check by Lead Nigeria indicates that at least three governors have publicly declared their support for Tinubu. Do you have a groundbreaking matter on this very issue? See who they are. Babajide Sanwulu, the governor of Lagos State. Yes, Babajide Sanwulu, one of the governors who are backing Tinubu to become Nigerian's president, come 2023 in a recent report, Governor Sanwulu said Tinubu is the most qualified successor and marketable co candidate for the 2023 presidency. He made a declaration during the former inauguration of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's Movement Working Committee. Governor Sani Bello of Niger State. Governor Sani Bello of Niger, while declaring his support for Tinubu recently, described the APC leader as a candidate worthy to be backed to ensure he takes over from Buhari. The Niger state governor made a remark on Thursday, January the 20th, when he received Tinubu during a visit to the government house in Mina. Bello said he is looking forward to seeing Tinubu replicate foundations and lay new ones what he has done in Lagos in the entire Nigeria. Governor Ganduje of Kanu State. Yes, Governor Ganduje of Kanu is not just backing Tinubu's presidential aspiration, he also said that the people of the north, northern part of the country, have no other presidential aspiration to support than Tinubu's presidential call. He remarked that Tinubu has supported the north to ensure Buhari becomes president and it will be barbaric, unforgiven, and children who are regarded as bastard not to reciprocate the good gesture, saying Tinubu is the man, the north have no choice but to support. Remember the governor of Ondo State at some point when Tinubu was recuperating in London after his surgery said that, um, you know, he also mentioned that um, they were waiting for their capon. And then um, when the capon comes on board, then um, um, guess who the capon is? Yes, your guess is as good as mine. Well done. That's the one. It's actually Wadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who, you know, is... According to him, or officially or unofficially, is 69 years of age and wants to become Nigerian's president. I mean, he has even told Nigerian youths that they should take the chill pill, relax comfortably because.
because he has to finish his tenure. It is his long life ambition and there is no going back on that tangent. Ashwajo Amebola Tinubu's words, however, has caused an outrage as youth has begun to mobilize themselves, saying enough is enough. We're not going to allow those who come in without a true um, you know, agenda to change the nation to become Nigerian's president. Ashwajo Amebola Tinubu has gotten support from some and some, however, are against. It's in between the lines. For Nigerians, especially the youth, as why should we have a 69 years old age of man still be the president of Nigeria when we have youths from 35 to 50 who could potentially become Nigerians president and change the course of what we have today? Why can't the youth come on board? Never too young to rule is a slogan Nigerian youth have to say if you want us as if you want us to be contributive facts and facts of this you know administration, then we are never too young to rule. I mean, look at these children that we children that were born in the 80s, 90s. They most of them now are married, have their own family you know, leaders of timbers of camp companies, timbers and candibas, you know, I mean, doing wonderfully well, you know, doing well, have heading conglomerates, doing excellently well in their sphere of businesses and affair. But in Nigeria, just only in politics, they cannot come in. Every other aspect, they are fine. You know, some of the young men already, some already have, I mean, it's not, it's not an ideal, just, you know, making a joke some of the young men even have like two wives yes born in the 80s some have two wives yeah you know i mean what i'm trying to say is that they're already mounting this kind of pressure and you know looking after their environment and their families but yet too oh, too young to rule abba, abba. you born picking the picking don't go grow up you continue to spin feed spin feed and forever when you own picking come come who go spoon feed at that time you don't today hold ricketty who go come help them you have to show them how to do it so that they can as well come on board and become leaders other than that we're not really progressing or making really meaningful impact that could potentially give us the real direction on what we need to make a real headway it is about time we begin to make you know true decision on what we want nigeria today the those who are there don't want to leave in fact they want to remain there and die there in fact they will be buried you know in the aso rock because uh, they were seven governors or president when they died <laughs> if you get what i mean it's, it's sad but it's the true reality leave us a comment don't forget to like us share subscribe god bless you have a lovely day bye for now